Marginal cost is an important concept in economics that refers to the additional cost incurred when producing one more unit of a good or service. It helps businesses and economists understand how costs change as production scales. The calculation of marginal cost involves dividing the change in total cost by the change in quantity produced. For example, if producing 100 units costs $1,000 and producing 101 units costs $1,010, the marginal cost of the 101st unit is $10. Marginal cost typically includes variable costs like materials and labour, as these expenses change with production, while fixed costs like rent or equipment do not affect it. Understanding marginal cost allows businesses to make decisions about how much to produce and at what price. Now let's look at some examples to better understand marginal cost. Suppose a bakery produces 50 loaves of bread daily at a total cost of $100. If producing one more loaf increases the total cost to $102, the marginal cost of the extra loaf is $2. This calculation helps the bakery decide whether the additional cost is worth the potential revenue. Another example is in the technology industry. If a smartphone manufacturer finds that producing one extra phone requires additional labour and materials costing $300, they would analyse whether selling the phone at a certain price makes economic sense. Finally, consider a factory producing cars. If the factory needs to run an extra shift to produce one more car, the marginal cost might include the wages of the workers and the wear and tear on machinery. These examples show how marginal cost applies to various industries. Now let's explore the factors that influence marginal cost. One significant factor is the cost of raw materials. If the price of inputs like steel, wood or fabric increases, marginal costs will rise as a result. Another factor is labour efficiency. When workers become more skilled or efficient, marginal costs may decrease due to less time and fewer resources needed for production. Technology also plays a critical role. Advancements in machinery or software can lower marginal costs by streamlining operations. Additionally, the scale of production influences marginal cost. For example, in economies of scale, marginal costs often decrease as production increases, whereas dice economies of scale can cause marginal costs to rise due to inefficiencies in large operations. These factors demonstrate how dynamic and context-dependent marginal costs can be. Now let's look at some strengths of marginal cost analysis. One key strength is its ability to guide optimal production decisions. By comparing marginal costs to marginal revenue, businesses can determine the most profitable level of output. Another strength is its usefulness in pricing strategies. For instance, during promotional campaigns, companies can set prices near marginal cost to attract customers while still covering variable expenses. Marginal cost analysis is also beneficial in identifying inefficiencies. By analysing the cost of producing additional units, businesses can pinpoint and address areas where resources are being wasted. These strengths make marginal cost an essential tool in economic and business decision making. However, marginal cost analysis is not without its weaknesses. One limitation is the difficulty of accurately measuring marginal costs especially when dealing with complex production processes or unpredictable variable costs. Another weakness is its reliance on assumptions, such as the idea that variable costs remain constant within a certain range of production. In reality, these costs can fluctuate due to market conditions or supplier constraints. Marginal cost analysis also tends to focus on short-term decision-making, which may overlook long-term strategic considerations like fixed cost investments or changes in market demand. These weaknesses highlight the importance of using marginal cost analysis alongside other tools and methods to make well-rounded decisions.